Hello, welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Domingo. Special K. And Indiana. All right, so tonight we have Linden Kugel's Chippewa Proud Beer. This is just their basic lager. Chippewa. Uh, I've never ever seen their basic lager here in Kentucky. Chippewa I saw it and I'm like, is, is that a real thing? Can we get a Chippewa? What? Yeah. Chippewa shot. So we got some Linny's regular lager. So all I ever see is fruit beers from them. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, they did have that one Oktoberfest and yeah. a couple other ales or whatever. Uh, but... We got their porter in there. Wow, that was lighter yeah. than I expected to be. Uh, yeah. You know, I believe Lenny's mm. is owned by Miller now. It almost has like a weird green hue to it almost. Like, you know, like a lime beer or something? Mm -hmm. You would expect this color from. Oh, uh, people requested the date on here. Uh, uh, this expires uh, December 18th, 2017. Oh, we're going to start doing that? That's probably 2017. Uh, so it's, we got about a month on it before it expires. Yep. So, uh, color. It is a hay color. Mm -hmm. Very light. It looks like a typical lager. Uh, head is very, very white. Might just be from the stage line. Carbonation is. Thing going on. Carbonation is kind of. Yeah, medium. Yeah. White, white's medium. Yeah, uh, white head. Ooh, it smells very uh, grassy, like hay. Mm -hmm. You get uh, some. Oh, some, yeah. Uh, yeah, wow. It smells like, uh, like a farm. summertime, yeah, yeah on, a, on a farm. Wow. Like in a field. Almost not, like not, a. Not barn, not, it's not barnyardy. I'm not saying it's barnyardy. It's like grassy. Like freshly mowed like fields. Yeah, it's like a pasture. We've had barnyard beers though that tasted like a mm -hmm. smelled like, like, a like wet wet hay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, let's do this. It almost has a little bit of butter as well too. Ooh. Whoa. That tastes like the base that tastes like linen cookies without the fruit flavor. Like mm -hmm. all the like shandies I've had. Yeah. Really um drinkable. Yeah. You get that um that buttery dryness at the end. Yeah. It's buttery, it's sweet, a little malty. Hmm. Very tiny bit of hoppy. I like this a lot for a basic lager. Yeah, this, if it was more readily available, if I could find this more. Uh, six think. pack was seven ninety nine for this, which is yeah. pretty good. I mean, I'd get it I over... I mean, that's what, slightly yeah. higher than Michelob Ultra or something like that? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's very drinkable. I don't know why I'm going to give it. Uh, mouth is watery, that's mm -hmm. for sure. It is really light. I mean, there's nothing spectacular about this lager other than the fact that it's super drinkable and mm -hmm. it's kind of crisp and refreshing. And that's what you want in a basic kind of lager. This is what I would call a slimable beer. Mm -hmm. So, if you're like, man, Listen, all the sweet. man, I need four beers at once really fast to get drunk. This is, this is what I would drink. Um, all the lemonade flavors. I like great. the shandies are fine. No, I mean, I, they're, sometimes they're you good, just but, want a beer. But without yeah. them, yeah, like yeah. this is... This is not bad at all. I, I think they sort of do the same thing. This is their base that they mix the stuff into, sort of like, I think we figured out that Country Boy, with their some other flavors, their beers, yeah. they just kind of throw, they use Cougar Bait as the base. But some beers, not yeah. all of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this a six. Um, you know, it, it's good for what it is. It's a nice slamble. It's, it's just a beer, you know. But that being said, it's a really good beer and it has a little bit more flavor than your average macro adjunct style beer. I mean, that's kind of what this is. Yeah, but it, you know, it has a little bit more heft to it, even though it's a lighter mouthfeel. Uh, you know? This is a seven. I'm giving it a seven. So it's good. It's in the good range. Um, I would absolutely recommend it. Uh, it's a very drinkable lager. Uh, Steel's about to find out how drinkable it is. Mm -hmm. We're about to hear his input. He's, he's coming back for a second drink. So, so there needs to be some lemonade in this. Or <laughs> <laughs> some good dang grapefruit. And Nick, what's your rating? I'm going to give it a five and a half. Do you recommend it? Yeah. Not as my first go-to, but it's a beer. Yeah. It's like what a beer is supposed to be. Yeah, it's, it's literally, if you said, if it, this is what you would think of, a yellow, fizzy, carbonated beverage, this is what I would expect it to taste like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's very balanced. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Patreon. I'm Special K. I'm Domingo. And I am Indy. Thanks Anna. for watching.